today's video tutorial is going to be very exciting because I will be showing you how to use the GoPro Hero 4 Black Edition to film 4K videos. All right, let's begin. Now let us compare the GoPro Hero 4 and the previous GoPro Hero 3. If you notice, they have more or less the same dimensions. They look the same. However, looks can be deceiving because the GoPro Hero 4 gives you very usable 4K videos at 24 frames up to 30 frames per second. Before we go on uh, to the settings of the Hero 4, let's take a look at our recording media, which are micro SD cards. To begin shooting 4K videos, we can't be using the older, slower micro SD cards, such as this 30 megabytes per second one. For 4K videos, we need faster cards. So over here, I have the SanDisk Extreme Plus. Now this is a much faster card at 80 megabytes per second transfer rate. So we need a really fast card in order to record 4K videos. I'll insert my memory card in here, into the Hero 4. I have a lens cap over here. We use our Hero 4 primarily for filming aerial videos with our drone. So this lens cap is really useful to keep the lens from being scratched when it's not in use. So I'll turn on my Hero 4. This is the power on button. Okay, I've got my Hero 4 on now. There are three buttons in use here. The power on button also acts as your mode button and lets you cycle through the different choices. The shutter or record button also lets you enter or confirm your decisions. And this is your settings button. So three buttons all together. As you can see, if I were to click on the power on button again, I'll be able to cycle through the different modes or the different commands. See that? All right. If you miss one, there is no previous button. So you'll just have to go through everything again. Right now I'm shooting at 1080, which is full HD, 1920 by 1080 at 60 frames per second and I'm using the medium field of view as shown with the M. Over here, this shows how much time I have left in my memory card. I can shoot up to 43 minutes and 53 seconds worth of full HD videos. This is my battery level indicator and I don't have any videos in here, zero clips. To get into the settings for 4K, I will click on the settings button or the Wi-Fi button. Over here, the first setting is the video. We'll leave it as that. We'll cycle through the next one, which is your video resolution. And I will press the record button or the shutter button to cycle through to the next setting, which is in this case is 720 super wide, 720 WVGA, which is a uh, quite low quality. 4K, there you go. If you miss that, you'll go on to the next one, 2.7K, 2.7KS, so on and so forth. We'll just cycle on. This is my favorite actually, 1080p. Now let's cycle on until we get up to 4K. There you go, we've got 4K. Let's go on to the next setting, which is your frames per second or your frame rate. Over here, I have 30 frames per second. I could choose 24, but I prefer the highest frame rate I can get from the camera. So I'll choose 30 and then field of view, which is very important. When we are shooting 4K, we have no choice but to use the wide field of view. See, I can't, I can't select anything else. I'll go on to the next setting, which is the low light setting. And it's not available during 4K. We'll skip that and we go on to the spot meter. What the spot meter does is it will look at the center of your image and it will adjust the exposure based on the brightness level at the center of your scene. This might cause your videos to suddenly become darker or brighter. I like to turn my spot meter off because if it's off, the Hero 4 will analyze my image and it will adjust the exposure level based on the overall brightness and darkness of my image. The result is you'll get very gradual, very soft lighting changes. Now with Protune PT, I like to turn it on because it gives me more options for editing later on. I will cycle on to my white balance I have a few white balance settings over here to choose from. I can choose, here is 3000 Kelvins. 
uh, we can choose 5500 kelvins this is what i'll use for my daylight outdoor shots it's a little bit warmer i'll go on to my color in this case i've got gopro or flat color so if i want flat it will give you a very desaturated image and of course you can resaturate it back when you go on to editing but i don't want to do that i'll just change it back to gopro colors which are more vibrant i'll go on to my iso now i can change my iso from 6400 1600 400 because i'm shooting all the time in daylight i like to reduce my iso to 400 the higher your iso the more noisy your image will become so i will limit it this is a cap i'll keep it at 400 all right next i have sharpness i don't want any sharpening i don't want the hero fall to sharpen my image so i'll keep it at low next i have evcom i'll put it at zero and then reset we won't touch that and then we'll go on to exit and i'll press the confirm order shutter button so right now you are filming in 4K resolution at 30 frames per second. You're using the wide field of view. You have zero clips in here and you can shoot 33 minutes of 4K videos. So there you go. All you need to do now is to press the record button and you can already begin filming in 4K. So thank you for watching this episode of Gear Up TV. Until we meet again, gear up and shoot it great.